Seeing my Flat Earth family. So, I am doing a little experiment with uh, some fellow Flat Earthers from Down Under. Let me see what I was doing. Oh, so I had this piece of plywood and I had it coming off the side. It was an L shape. So I had to take my trusty saw and guess what? I do have a, I do have a uh, circular saw, but I didn't want to get that out. And I'm not getting enough exercise. So guess what? Here's a handy little hint. A hand saw works so much better when you coat the saw with this. I hear that sh that's shark oil, shark fat oil. Anyway, so I have my little drill, which kind of ran out of juice because I'm not using it so much. So I have a battery plugged in. And I cut this off this morning. And look, look at all my little sawdust. So you know I did it. There's all the sawdust. So what am I doing here? Look at my sawdust there. Yes, I know it wasn't that much. So I am making a sundial because this is what we're doing down uh, with the Sun and Moon Family United. Sam Fu. Okay, sounds like a, a karate chop. Sam Fu. So anyway, <laughs> so here I have to, I'm going to be lining up this board and I want the, uh, I want it to face south. So if I get this lined up on an edge, then I can get that whole bottom edge to be south facing. And that should be a whole lot better because see right over there, in the in the dead of winter, that's uh, at the winter solstice. That's like um, December 21st through the 23rd or something. So when I, uh, on that date, the sun is right there between the houses and the trees there. And I don't know if you can see that little green sliding board way down below, but that's where it is. It comes right up in there and it goes right in my front window. So, uh, I'm going to line this up just the best I can. And it looks like, it looks like this is pretty close. You know, what we're looking for is variation. So, I've got these sci scientist friends who, they do all the calculations and they've got this magnetic north thing and they, you know, want to do real true north and magnetic north. Well, okay, that's great for some applications. But for this, we're just trying to see some things about it, just some data. I'm going to do good. I'm going to try and do the best I can. But am I exact? No. Let me see if this is... I'll tell you what, that looks pretty darn good. If I put this down here. Sorry, I don't have my... Okay, I'm going to line that up that way. Looks like I could go this way a little bit. I think that's really good. So, now I need a clock... And you know what else is a good thing to do, is to put a level on it. And I know this is pretty level because I put the sidewalk in. <laughs> Even though it has a slight pitch for drainage, um, I think it's good and good enough. So we'll stick our level on there. Uh-oh, look at that. That's pretty bad. Woo, that's really bad. Um, let me see if, what I can do to, to level this up a little bit. What can I do? Let me move this back. Sorry, I'm going to sit you down. And that is making a difference. Oh, look at that. I just moved it back six inches. 
and it, it was the uh, it's on pavers you can see the pavers here so that edge tilted down but now you can see it's pretty level and I kept the edge let me see nope that is off I'm gonna move this so that lines up yeah I like that that lines up pretty good it's like right down the center of my compass and the compass is in line uh, my table on I have it on is a little wobbly it's an old plant stand so so I hope my uh, science guys don't get all upset and say oh I'm a wacko just because I don't have such precision precision is really not the point here the point is pretty good and as best we can that's what we're gonna do and you know what um, if we get general data which is what we're doing here we're gonna get general data and then we can get more specific data so uh, let's see what we've got here now so this is north and this, and this is over here, this is east, and this is west. And this, of course, is south. South facing. So what I did was I just took that board and I stuck the screw down in there. Now you can see I did not go all the way because this is a smooth shank. See this it's smooth shank so I didn't want it to wobble and if I had put it all the way in it wouldn't have been holding so I'm gonna have to get a piece of board if I want it longer I'm gonna have to get a piece of board that thick and stick it over the top and screw through that board and that will work just fine oh I you didn't even see it I'm sorry I'm gonna have to get a piece of board that thick put it over the top screw through it and that will hold that up beyond the shank, the smooth shank, where the threads are. So this is, I'm sorry I'm doing so terrible with the, uh... now I'm going to go get my phone so I can get a time on this. So hold still, I'll be right back. I'll let you watch the chemtrails. Okay, now I want to see what time it is. Oh, can I even see that? Oh, I can't see it at all. Hold on a minute. No, I don't want to, I don't want to do talk. Oh, there, can you see it? It's very hard for me to see this. What am I looking at? What do we got? I'm gonna go in the garage because I really can't see it. I could see my phone, but I couldn't see it in the camera. There, perfect, perfect. There was too much sunlight. <laughs> That's a horrible thing to say since we don't ever get enough sunlight. Okay, so it's 10.51, which is, all right, it's 11 o'clock, guys. Come on, let's not nitpick. So, I'm gonna write this down. Now you notice I covered the board with the paper. So I'm gonna put a point here and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 11 a.m. on February 
Oh, I can't even see that. Five. There you go. So it's two, five, nineteen. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave this set up. And I have things to do. I'm going to just have it setting out here. Now, you'll notice that my house is here. So I'm not going to get it all day. But you know what? If I take this whole setup to the backyard and I find a place where I can see sunset, let me go over and show you. Because you can't see where it sunsets from here. Now, in the dead of winter, again, on the December date, December 22nd, there's a shed. I don't know if you can see. There's a shed with red trim on it. And there's a big shed with the cars in front of it. it the sun sets right behind that shed with the red trim in uh, the winter, the dead of winter. But now it's over there where that big barn is on the right. Not the one with the cupola and the cars, but over to the right. Um, that's where the sun is shine, uh, setting right now, this, uh, this time of year kind of like just to the left of that now when it in the equinox it'll be over here and then in the summer it is straight back I mean right out my back door it's like you can see it and all during the different times of the uh, the year you get the Sun shining in the windows at a different angle I, you have to notice that I mean anybody has to notice like oh and even if you're a TV watcher, oh, the stupid thing's reflecting on my TV, so I gotta shut those blinds or something. <laughs> yes, I watch uh, TV, but I watch YouTube videos on the TV. That way I can free up my computer and do something else. I, um, this is what I do. I go through the list in the morning of the videos, and I just watch, I put them on and I let them play for 30 seconds. And not even that. And then it makes a history. And then you can shut them all down. And then the history is listed on the YouTube on the cable TV. So then I can go to the TV and just pick them off from there and watch them on the TV while I'm cooking breakfast or, you know, working around the house and whatnot. And it's not, it's a much bigger screen and it's a lot easier. And my mom can watch it and the whole thing. So, yeah, my mom's being, uh, Woke up and she doesn't even realize it. So that's good. <laughs> it's like TV. It's fun. It is so funny. When I put a video of mine up there or uh, somebody's taking a video of me and, and it's up there on the TV screen, she looks at me and she says, that's you on the TV. I'm there. Yeah, mom, I'm famous. <laughs> it's funny, but no, it's okay. Um... So here's my sundial. So I'm going to see where this goes. And look, look, you can even see that it's already moved, isn't it? It already moved. So this is going to be fun. And I'm going to do it the next day. I can, I can date this uh, picture or I can, um, I can just have it where it's, uh, I don't know. Will it, will it overlap? It's going to do something different. If it's higher in the sky, they'll be shorter. Oh, that would be fun. Yes, if I get a pen and make a more precise dot, the next day will be shorter lines. Isn't that correct? That is correct. So let's, uh, we shall try that. We'll see. Okay, guys, just thought I'd let you know, this is what I plan to do with uh, Sam Fu. And uh, that way I don't have to have a compass on my phone. And I set it up so the compass reading is there. And maybe I can even get the compass reading uh, early in the day, which is what I had done before with my videos. So... Um, I don't know. When sunrise now in this day, tomorrow morning sunrise will be behind that house. So it's going to be difficult for me to get that. Uh unless I go down to my farm which is 2 miles that way and a mile up to the left. Which yeah. So we we shall see. Okay guys, have a great day. I hope this helps if if uh, anyone uh 
on this group that I'm posting this to has a problem or a question or an addition, I am not offended in any way. I will listen to anything you have to say. So this is all uh, a non-emotional thing. Scientists are not emotional. They only deal with evidence and facts. So let's just, uh, uh, you know, help each other. We can say what we want and, you know, we just try and do it in a kind way. That's all. All right. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.